Hello guys, it's me, V. Clifto, bringing you my 8th episode to my Guide to Success series. We're going to be talking about map awareness, and this, this topic is so important because you don't know how many times I've seen random people run the wrong way. I mean, or like, it's, it's kind of weird because most people have no no map awareness and they don't look at their mini map it, it just seems like they don't they wouldn't need a mini map they wouldn't i mean they don't even have any idea how the map is whatever all that good stuff talk about how to improve it because trust me having amazing a uh, map awareness can secure easy kills especially in public matches and also I mean a little bit i mean it can save your team and if you do competitive gaming and all that good stuff so Let's get to it. Alright, so the first part of it is is reading spawns. And this is very important. If you look at this game, and it's not... I don't remember how the early... I mean, the, it's more toward the end of the game, how I read spawns. I get to the point where I even... Where they're spawning in front of me. But we'll get to that, how you can figure out how to find when they'll do that and stuff. But it's very important to know where the spawns are. Now, some people say, oh, it's hard to figure out where the spawns are, blah, blah, blah. Alright, the first game mode to try out. If you want to figure out where spawns or how people spawn, play Domination. Domination is the easiest way to figure out where people are. It's probably the second easiest game mode, but we'll say it's the easiest game mode to teach yourself how, how people are going to spawn for any game mode. Because people spawn according to which flag they have. And if so, if you have two flags, they ha the the game almost 90% of the time forces them to spawn near the their own flag. So, I mean, it'll teach you kind of. That's a great great domination is an amazing game having to teach yourself map awareness and figuring out where the team will spawn and stuff. Because if you if you can't play, I mean, that's just how it has to go. That's the game mode to play if you want to figure out kind of how to read spawns. It's the That's the first game mode. But Domination helps you with almost any game mode like Kill Confirm and uh, Team Deathmatch because instead of there being flags, it's kind of like people are flags. And people will spawn near their people. Um, so how do you figure out like, okay, now you're in Team Deathmatch. Now you've gone from Domination where they, you kind of know from the flag. How do you find out in Team Deathmatch exactly where they're going to spawn? Well, look at your mini-map. The mini-map is the key to this game. You can see where people are shooting from, all that good stuff. But the big thing is you can see where you your people are. If you know where your people are, you most likely the other team is spawning where your team is not. The game is, I mean, yes, at the beginning of the game it was kind of screwed up. And it's still kind of screwed up, really messed up. But... I mean, I'd say 75% of the time, the game plays still how the game plays, where they the other team spawns not in range for the other people to see them and stuff like that. So it's kind of like if you if your team is like L like an L shape on the map, well then the other team's gonna spawn on the other like in an L shape on the other side of the map. So you have to be able to kind of read your mini map. Also, how you figure out spawns is. If you see two or three people come out of one spot, keep watching there. If four or five of them are coming out of that spot, then you know somewhere near that area is a spawn point. And you can, every time now, when you see a couple people come out of it, you know to look in that direction. That's that's a big thing is you know that people are going to come out of that spot because, I mean, out of experience, you've seen that people keep spawning there. I mean, that's how... If you see any snipers or whatever, how they get quad feeds, they find out where the spawn points are, and they sit right outside of it, and they just keep killing people while they're spawning. And you can do it with a regular gun, a sniper rifle, whatever you got, you can use if you figure out where the spawn points are, where they're going to spawn, and what triggers, what stops them from spawning there, and all that good stuff. And you, you should never try to, like, keep going. I mean, yeah, sometimes you want to keep going, but... The great thing to do is if you have great map awareness, you can trap people in one spot and keep getting kills and they can't do anything. Most likely they'll rage quit. All that good stuff. You know, that's just a great feeling. But, you know, that's how you play the game. Don't, I mean, have map awareness of where your team at. And if they stop in one spot, 
don't keep pushing because you you may screw up the spawns on the game in which is difficult for people to predict where other people are going to be because they many people don't have the best map awareness i find myself to have a lot of map awareness i can almost like it's not like i can see them through walls but i know exactly where these people are where most people don't they'll put their backs to these people and it kind of will be like oh why didn't you look there i got used to it i figured out how to read spawns almost not perfectly but i got it almost to the dot of where spawns are at first when the new game comes out it's always hard to read the spawns because you don't know exactly where the game is going to place them and call of duty ghost is kind of it's more of a circle map instead of like let's say for black ops 2 um the maps were kind of like a three lane there's three sections and it was kind of like it was like a straight line almost like a straight line to the to the other side so you kind of knew exactly where people are going to be if you spawn on one side they're going to be on the other side well this game is different it's played like in a circular area so it's a little bit harder to read the spawns than black ops 2 but it's still doable i've learned almost i mean i'm pretty sure i'm almost perfect with these spawn points i wouldn't say i'm the best but i'm close i'm close with this stuff and it's really important to learn that if you really want to improve so you don't get killed from behind and you can go on longer streaks Maybe get a chem strike. It, chem strikes are based on map awareness. You could have, I mean, not the worst gun skill, but you could have medium gun skill. But if you had a great map awareness, you have a a hundred percent chance better that or a hundred percent better chance, <laughs> whatever, to get the um to get a chem strike. I mean, or any long streak that you want, and it's important to to be able to see it. Also, it's important to know how to um not invade but like kind of how to approach at a target uh, like if you see them shooting on a min in the mini map be able to figure out okay they're right there where's the best place if they've been camping there the whole time what well, i mean you have to look at your mini map and, and this is very important especially in competitive because in competitive a lot of stuff like especially in search and destroy and stuff you got to be able to have great map awareness to figure out where people are because you got one life and they've got one life and it's kill or be killed or you can play chicken but whatever it's kill to be killed and you got to figure out how to approach these people and map awareness saves you like I, I can't I can't emphasize it any harder I mean it really I mean just knowing the spawns gives you a great advantage now there's certain game modes that have funny spawns like blitz blitz is like one side you it takes they're 90 percent of the time they're gonna spawn there even though it's like 99 you can only get it if like you have every place locked down that they'll actually spawn on your side which is kind of funny but you can almost guarantee that you can lock people people have actually gotten ways to like n like if you have everybody in the right spot they're gonna spawn right in front of you you can just keep shooting them and actually in this game probably around this time they're spawning right in front of me. I kind of got pissed off at my team. I was like, "Oh, come on!" I was, I was killing them as they spawn. It was beautiful. It was cute. Oh my gosh, it was awesome. I don't know why I said cute, but it was just you know all those good words described it. Uh, so that's the message: have great map awareness, and you'll kick ass. All right. So, um, all right. I'm planning on trying to do. A, at least a guide to success or a Call of Duty video Monday and Friday each week. I've been kind of, I've been not, I didn't have a good schedule. I needed to, do, I needed to start a good schedule so that people will know when my videos are coming out. So I'm planning on doing Monday and Friday. And I know I've been trying to get to doing this Lego stuff, but I actually have been remaking my room so that my gaming setup allows me to have both my Xbox One and my Xbox 360 easy access because I, my uh, Lego game is on my X, Xbox 360. And I only had one TV, or I had my monitor, but the other TV on. And I got a good setup, so I'm going to start playing Lego, probably producing those on Wednesdays. So, have a maybe a different game during the week, but definitely Monday and Friday are going to be for Call of Duty. Alright, so that's done. Alright, so I think I've finished everything. Um, If you like the video, please leave a like, leave a comment of what you thought. Um, well, I guess, uh, this has been V Clifto, and I'm signing off. Stay cool, my friends.